Hi, my name is Manoj Krishna, and um, today I want to tell you a story about a 62-year-old lady who presented with chronic neck and arm pain. This is her MRI scan, and you can see that she's got a single-level uh, collapsed disc at C5-6, and there's a bulge at the back of the disc pressing on the spinal cord. You can see it better on the cross-section here. Normally around the spinal cord, there's a white rim of fluid, but on this picture you can't see it. She had a disc replacement and was in hospital overnight. Um, you can see this uh, on this picture. She's bending forward, and you can see the uh, disc, bend, uh, disc in motion. And then here with the neck in extension or bending backwards, um, you can see the movement of the C5-6 disc. Here's Elizabeth telling her own story. Afternoon, Elizabeth. Yeah, good afternoon, Dr. So you're 62 years old, and you've had a neck problem for a couple of years. Yes. So tell me a story about how the problem started and how it progressed, please. It started approximately two years ago, and it was get continuous aching in the neck and problems down my arm. And this went on for two years continuously. Um, I had physiotherapy which helped for a day or two. Um, I was taking a lot of painkillers at the time. How many painkillers? I was taking um, baclofen, um, paracetamol, brufen, anything I could get my hands on basically which of course only alleviated it for a, a short time. And I didn't want to end up on constant painkillers. So after a while, about six months ago, uh, I started getting neuralgia, which is excruciatingly painful. Which arm was hurting? Left, left okay. hand side, all down the left neck. Uh, from behind the ear, and then I knew I had to do something about it. So you came to see me and uh, the scans showed you had this disc bulge at C5-6 and we talked about the options, mm -hmm. more physio, injections, surgery mm -hmm. and I think you opted for the operations. Well I've experienced um, physio and I uh, wasn't prepared to keep returning every three months for steroid treatment so okay. I decided to finish it once and for all. And so the surgery was uh, three months ago you had a disc replacement. So please talk us through your experience of surgery and, and how you are. The experience of the surgery was um, pretty straightforward. I uh, wasn't in an awful lot of pain. Um, the staff were absolutely marvellous in the hospital. They looked after me. If I had a twinge, they were there with painkillers. Um, and once I got up and moving about again, I was surprised how much I could move about and then realised I didn't need painkillers to warrant the small amount of pain I was getting. Um, so you were in hospital for how long? I was in hospital for two days. Okay. Two days, and it was a very pleasant experience. And when you woke up, uh, did you still have your arm pain, or is that, no. that gone? No, it's all gone. Um, I've had three sessions of physio, and they're very pleased, on account of my age, that I recovered as well as I did, and now I've got, I consider myself to have Full movement and absolutely no Just show pain. me your range of movement, please. Yeah. And uh, how much pain do you have? None whatsoever. How long did it take you after the surgery to feel as good as you are now? Two weeks. Okay. Two weeks. Yeah, because I worked hard at it. Because I do exactly what I'm told to do. And I did all my physio and kept myself moving about. And... Uh, Enjoyed that bit of freedom I had before the operation, but that I didn't have when I had the operation. Okay. Well, so yeah. Thank you. It's a, it's a pleasure. Thank you.